Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Max Factory Figma 243 Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty Snake. Say that ten times fast. I bet you can't. Regardless, I'm really happy to have this set. It looks freaking awesome. A little bit of side art there. A couple of things that the snake can do. A little more side art there. Let's open it up. Standard issue Figma stand. Standard issue Figma bag, which I think is awesome. It's still the only toy company that I know of that gives you a bag. I think this is the first time I've seen a Japanese figure with English instructions. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty came out in 2001, November. I did play it. I have not played many Metal Gear Solid games, but this is one that I did play. Looking at some of the other older Snake figures, this one definitely looks a lot more like Snake. I like the shadowing that they have here under his eyes, and you can actually see that his eyes are blue here. The bandana on the forehead looks really nice. I got no complaints about that. The hair is also very well done, the way it's pushed back like that, and this does not move at all. It's, just, it's stagnant. On the torso, you can see all these magazines he has attached, and he's got a pouch right there. It looks really neat. It's this looks like something an old lady would wear, like old English times. I forgot what they call it. I think it starts with a B. But like those things that make him look skittier, and he's got one of those on. It's kind of funny. There's his crotch. His butt. It's rather disappointing that he has this holster, and the gun can't even go in it. It's just a solid piece of plastic right there. That's, that's not too cool. I don't understand why they did that. And then we see his boots here. Uh, absolutely no complaints on the design at all. Like I said, it's nothing crazy fancy, but it works. It's simplicity, and that in its own in its own right is awesome. Under the armpit, there are divots, and it helps the arms fit in a lot better. And you can stand with his arms directly to his side. I think that's a cool new feature. I haven't seen that on any other figure yet so far. In order to get his head to look all the way down, you kind of have to push it past his chest, and then he can look down a lot more. Otherwise, it gets stuck right there. I'm not sure if that's a unique to my figure or if it's a problem with all of them. Not a big problem, but, you know, it's not perfect. Shoulder articulation can go up this far. He's got the neat hinge. You can do that. Man, that's awesome. What a cool piece of articulation. You can go all the way around. You got double jointed elbow, wrist articulation. You got a swivel and on a hinge. He's got a lot of ab crunch. Uh, unfortunately, on mine, the ab crunch is a bit loose. Unfortunately, it's sort of a common thing for Japanese figures to come with loose joints sometimes. It's not really common, but I would say it happens more with my Japanese figures more often than I would like. Especially when you're paying, you know, top dollar, you need top results. Leg articulation, thighs go out that much, and they'll kick back not quite as far. His buns block the articulation there. He's got a thigh swivel. Double jointed knees that moves really really smoothly ankle articulation He's got a pivot here and a little bit of an ankle rocker. I'm kind of nervous using it. It doesn't work Extremely well, but it is there Because of how impressive the articulation is on this figure It's one of the very few where you can have the end of the gun hitting the shoulder While the other side well his other hand is actually holding on down here Not many can do that and actually look straight and that's pretty cool so I don't think there's a single Marvel Legend figure that could actually comfortably pull this pose off. In order to change Snake's face plates it says you're supposed to lift off the top near his bandana which I have not found to be an easy task so I'm just gonna pull off the whole head and try to figure out that way. It was a little bit scary but I did get it done and then you just pull straight out get the new face and put straight back in. In order to change the direction of which way his eyes are looking, you've got two little peg holes, I guess you could call them, back here, and you get this device. You stick them in the hole, and you just move them side to side. Cheese! I'm not ultimately satisfied with this faceplate. It looks okay, but it's nothing great. These are the hands he uses to grip the side of a wall. Little picture example right there. And it says actually don't attach it to a a surface that's more than a centimeter thick which is really restrictive it tells you to use this and it actually has little divots in here 
and uh, the hands have the matching divots that you just kind of have to line them up and it should hang like that. I feel like this would be a feature that might not be that easy to use. Here's the muzzle flash. Here's the rifle. Kind of just push the muzzle flash on the end. I would hold it like this. If you try to do it any other way, you might end up breaking the end of this. So be careful. And there you go. Moving on to the handgun. I don't believe the muzzle flash will fit on that. It's a little bit thicker here. This doesn't come off. There was an old Revotech figure where you could actually spin off the silencer, and that was pretty cool. I think that was actually the other Metal Gear Solid figure that Revotech came out with. It might be extremely difficult to see, but in between the pointer finger and the middle finger, there's actually a little hole, and that's where the cigarettes slide through, and he comes with two cigarette smoking hands. They are extremely small, but he comes with four cigarettes. It is a bit of a loose fit. I would be scared to take it outside. It does wiggle around quite a bit. kind of just slides in there. It doesn't really lock into place or anything. Taking that outside might be a little bit scary. This is a hand that I would assume would grab the end part of the rifle in a fashion similar to this. Or you might consider this one right the same thing. I'm sure, you know, I'm not exactly sure what you can use this for. I'm sure there's many reasons for it. You can use him as, you know, just get creative like he's scared or he's telling someone to stop. Or maybe he's getting blown up and it actually doesn't even hold the handgun. So what exactly this hand is for, I don't know. It doesn't give it any specific directions. And on the other side, we see a trigger finger and a pointer finger. Uh, no trigger finger on this side. Here is the box. It doesn't come with any instructions on how to put it together. But I'm a pretty smart guy, so I think I can figure it out. I believe you'll need glue, which again, I don't have glue on me right now. I guess you could use glue or tape. There you go, boom. I did get it together. So it's got a lot of neat sayings on it. I'm not sure how accurate it is to the game. I, I know of the scenes of the and the gameplay, but I couldn't tell you if it said that. I'm assuming it does say the orange on it. I don't know why they would put anything different. Greeting some California. Not to complain too much, but the face sculpts we're getting on the package art is a way better than what we're actually getting. It's not night and day difference, but the box art does feature way better art than the actual figure. And another complaint is I would I would say that the box art is actually a little bit grayer. And by grayer I mean a suit. Well this one is really blue. These are small complaints, nothing too bad, but they are complaints and you know anyone who would want to complain about that I think would be totally justified. Overall, I feel this is a very beautiful figure. The articulation is really top-notch. It is rather unfortunate that the ab crunch in mine is really loose. Uh, I guess that'll be that'll depend from figure to figure whether your ab crunch is loose. I wouldn't say every snake one you may have a loose leg. And the detail is very simple, but it works. I like it. I'm not going to knock it. It's not extremely extravagant, and we don't want that on a simple figure. So here. Keeping it simple is really good. Some of the cons of this figure might be the price. It is a bit pricey and that is really unfortunate. But it is balanced out. It does come with quite a few accessories. It would have been nice if it came with a few more. The mini Revotex came with like cool explosive devices like a Claymore. I would definitely recommend this figure though. Uh, I, again, I wish it was a bit cheaper because I know that keeps a lot of collectors away from this figure and that's really too bad because it's a really nice one and it's going to be a lot of fun to take pictures of and see other people take pictures of it. If you like this figure and want it, I know it's still available at BBTS. You can click the link down in my description below. It'll take you there to the website. You know, Just search Figma Snake and you'll find it. It's probably be right on their front page if you scroll down a little bit. Other than that, I just want to thank you all for watching my review. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons for more reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.